So my dudes Val here, and today I want to talk about something I've seen you guys basically saying, and I want to talk about it because it's kind of funny to me whenever you consider it going. I've seen a lot of people in the last comments saying the raids are too simplistic, and that the hardest challenge of the raids are basically uh, dealing with pubs, which pubs are, trust me, they are definitely going to be the hardest challenge, but the raids become much less simplistic later on. This raid right here is literally just beat the big monster. That is all there is to it. But as we get into this one where we fight Frig and Valkyrie, or we get into the Apostle over here, if it lets me ever click the damn thing, or we get here to the Apostle, this is where it gets really, really, really insane and you're gonna have to take crazy teamwork. You think the pumps are bad and just not knowing how to fight Apophis? Holy, just wait until we get level 66, which is actually right around the corner because we just got 65 today. So I think we're like two days away from 66 and then we'll be able to fight freaking Valkyrie. And then I think the other one unlocks on level 70. But here I have this wonderful guide brought or pulled up by uh, Game8.co. And it's going to give you guys an idea of what you can expect from these upcoming raids. So for Frig and Valkyrie, both Frig and Valkyrie must de be defeated at the same time. There are two portals, one leads to Frig, the other leads to Valkyrie. You can swap in between in the middle of it, but you have to organize with your team when you're going to defeat both bosses together. So yeah, that's a thing. And then here at level 70, we get the Apostle Nemesis which two bosses much like Frig and Valkyrie if the bosses are close to one another they will begin to heal rapidly a random teammate will be taken into a different dimension and receive damage over time under any circumstances do not die here if the uh, other players must break the shield as quickly as possible if this happens which means if there's one player carrying everybody and they decide to go into the different dimension or they get sucked up and people don't know the mechanics, you lose. If you let the bosses get too close to each other, they full heal. The raids already take 20 minutes whenever you have one good DPS. Imagine whenever we're doing this. This is going, the amount of teamwork that's going to go and the amount of frustration that's going to come from doing these in pugs and not, you know, with a crew is insane. And the fact people are like, oh, Apophis is, uh, Apophis is too easy because he's simplistic and there's really no mechanics. They just made him bigger, which is true. They really did just make him a much bigger, but then we reach this. And whenever we do have mechanics inside pugs, holy is this going to be absolute AIDS. And we get it in like two days and I'm really excited because the challenge is going to be insane. It's going to be really painful yet fun to try to do it in pugs. But yeah, I think you guys are heavily underestimating like what these raids are going to be and how difficult they're going to be because god damn it, these raids going to be hard. Anyways, that's basically the video. I just wanted to make everyone aware of how much you guys are sleeping on the raids and how difficult they're going to be. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.